What if I told you America had access to time travel equipment, teleportation technology, and a secret base on Mars? You'd probably think I was crazy, right? Well, that's exactly what the individual who's the topic of this case file deals with on an everyday basis. Buckle up, kids. I promise this one's gonna get intense. Welcome to Absurd Reality Case File 006. Andrew Basiago, Project Pegasus, and Mars Teleportation. Since 2004, Seattle attorney Andrew Basiago has been publicly claiming that from the time he was seven years old to when he was 12, he participated in Project Pegasus, a secret US government program that he says worked on teleportation and time travel under DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Basiago claims that from 1962 to 1972, the US government ran a clandestine operation called Project Pegasus. That program led to the successful development of a number of highly advanced technologies allowing for teleportation, physical time travel, and holographic time travel. He claims that the program was run jointly by the CIA and DARPA. Basaggio stated that his involvement in the project was due to his father's connection to the program. He said his father had previously worked for Ralph M. Parsons Engineering Corporation, where he helped develop the technology, and that his father had already been time traveling for years at the Curtis Wright Corporation in New Jersey. Apparently, they train children along with adults so they can test the mental and physical effects of time travel. It turned out that children had an advantage over adults in terms of adapting to the strains of moving between past, present, and future, as well as not being noticed as someone who seems particularly out of place in a specific time period. Basaggio said he experienced eight different time travel technologies during his stint in the program. He said time travel involved a teleportator based on papers found in Nikola Tesla's trunks that were stolen in his New York City apartment after his death in 1943. For those of you that don't know, there's a big conspiracy theory as to how many trunks Tesla reportedly had when he was alive in his apartment and how many were found after his death. Each trunk apparently contained notes and schematics for different inventions and theories. It's believed that secret government agencies broke into his apartment and stole those trunks. In addition to that technology, he also stated that the government has a working version of the chronovisor. That's the time travel device I spoke about in case file 002. So if you're unfamiliar with that, stop this, go back to that case file and check that one out. Basiago claimed that he could be seen in a photograph of Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address in 1863, which he said he visited in 1972 via a plasma confinement chamber located in East Hanover, New Jersey. He also stated that there were multiple jump rooms throughout America and that certain U.S. bases around the world. Most notably, he has spoken about the jump room located in Los Angeles. Why did he speak about this one the most? Well, because the jump room in LA was the one that he used to go to Mars. As if time travel and teleportation isn't enough, we're also talking about humans on Mars. According to Passaggio, he was part of this program in his college years during the 1980s. This program consisted of a few individuals, Andrew Basaggio, William Brett Stillings, William Cameron McCool, Regina Dugan, and a 17-year-old Barry Sartoro. William McCool went on to become an astronaut who sadly passed in the Columbia spaceship disaster. Regina Dugan became the head of DARPA and was appointed to that position by Barack Obama. Barry Sartoro became the 44th president, Barack Obama. According to Basaggio, we have, in fact, been to Mars, can breathe the air on it, built a secret base there, and we've dealt with alien animals and humanoids on that planet for years. Basaggio talks about his experiences in many YouTube videos. I suggest you check out Life on Mars, Andrew Basaggio. You can find the link to that video in the description below. This is probably one of my favorite case files. I really want to believe everything when it comes to this story and everything that I just mentioned. The point of this podcast is to explore all the things that I find weird, strange, and fun. There are things in our reality that we believe, and there are things in our reality that are just absurd. Thanks for listening, guys. Do me a favor and finger blast that like button, share the fuck out of this video, and subscribe to this channel for everything absurd reality by clicking the subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. That's it for this case file. We are out.